Now we'd like to invite uh, Professor Avijendra to give us a uh, two minutes talk, and we can have proper lecture la later on. Yes. Hello. I just want to tell you first that I am very happy to be here, and uh, secondly, that I am personally not a specialist in intellectual property and you have here very important persons who will speak to you much better than me. But I just wanted to tell you my speciality is private international law. And private international law takes also care of problems of intellectual property. And the only things I wanted to tell you is if you have problems about intellectual property with Europe, don't forget that for jurisdiction, because you begin with the jurisdiction before resolving the case, you have to take care of one regulation which applies in all member states, sometimes independently of the domicile of the defendant. And you have an article which says that 22.4 for validity um, in proceedings concerned with the registration or validity of patents, trademarks, designs, or other similar rights required to be deposited or registered, the courts of the member state in which the deposit or registration has been applied for has taken place or is under the terms of a community instrument or an international convention deemed to have taken place. So you know with this article where you have to go. Secondly, you have also other rules where you know the jurisdiction, but only if the defendant is domiciled in a member state. And thirdly, if there is an agreement between the two parties it is only compulsory that one of them is domiciled in a member state. That is for jurisdiction, afterwards you have the problem of applicable law. For that you have another regulation, the Rome 1 regulation of 2008, which says which law will be applied by the jurisdiction. And thirdly, if you have a problem of delicts, you have a third regulation. It is the regulation Rome 3. So please be careful when you will be in the practice not to forget that when you have problems with Europe, and it can happen often, then you have to take care of those articles. I stop and thank you for listening to my private international law presentation. <laughs> <laughs> um.